G'day, John from Road Train Adventures, and I just want to talk about three things. How to overtake people, the best way, you know, when you're coming up behind people, uh, and uh, what to do in a situation if you need to brake hard, uh, whether you're loaded, light and loaded, or whatever. And uh, lastly, if you come off the road with any kind of trailer, whether it be one trailer or three trailers, four trailers, what to do about it. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing, you're coming up and you can see somebody up ahead, they're not going too far, so you, you want to overtake them. Best way to overtake, uh, firstly, as you're coming up, approaching them, maybe you're a couple hundred meters apart, uh, sorry, before them, pull out, just, you know, basically have a look to see, okay, yep, it's clear, get a bit closer, check again. And as you get, each time you're getting closer, check again. Now these are on flat roads. Now of course, if you're on hilly areas, well, you can still have a look, you can see something anyway. So as you're getting closer, keep having a look. Uh, these, this of course happens best on the um, flat roads. Anyway, so that's what you're gonna do. Keep having a look. Don't just come straight up behind the person without having a look once, because when you're close to somebody, especially if they're a truck, you can't see it around them because you're too close. So you need to either back off or keep having a look as you're getting closer. Therefore, especially me and my road train, I can basically come up to people, I can see there's no one coming and I just pull out and I don't slow down under 100. So if you're in a caravan, I'm coming up behind you, I'm just gonna keep going. Unless somebody's coming, of course. Okay, so the uh, next point is, um, if you're driving along and you need to stop suddenly, what are you gonna do? Something that you've got to get into your mind, first things first, is not to lock it up. If you do lock it up, as uh, it might be your first reaction to jump on those on the brakes, and that's everyone's reaction. What you're gonna do, if, you, if it's during the day, you can see if you're locking it up because you see smoke. If that happens, you need to let go of the brakes and apply again. You're gonna stop a lot quicker then if you were to just jam on the brakes and hold it flat to the floor with everything locked up, you've lost all traction and you're gonna just keep going. Now, in the comments, uh, tell us about some stories that people have pulled out in front of you, how, how you got around it and stuff like that. Now, next thing, if you're driving along, whether it be a caravan or a box trailer or whatever, and you're, well, you've accidentally come off the road, you've, you've, you've been looking elsewhere. So, whenever you come off the road, you need to get into your mind first things first do not do anything basically i i hold the steering wheel steady look and then bring it gradually back on you never want to jerk it that's the especially the more trailers the worse the more trailers you jerk it and that fourth trailer when it when it basically filters down it's just going to roll over especially if you come off the road and it's a bit of a drop so basically if you're going down the road and you come off the road, hold that steering wheel steady. And unless you're going, heading off a cliff, hold it steady and bring it back on slowly. And then, and it's the same thing as uh, with a, just a box caravan. You're not very long. Whatever happens, forget looking backwards at what the trailers are doing because the trailers are gonna follow your truck or, or car. So basically keep the car going straight and your trailer's gonna go straight. Um, now, some people say that if you're, if you need to try to pull things out of it, accelerate. Well, in the truck, accelerating is not really going to do much when you're like 180 ton, but you can still try because that is, it kind of works. But with the caravan, you might have a lot more power than that, so you don't want to accelerate too hard. You might spin out or something. So basically, try to accelerate if you are heading in a straight direction. But just remember, don't look backwards. Don't try to overcorrect. You want to just basically straighten the car up and hold it steady. And the caravan is going to steady itself as well. Even though it might be going like this at first, steady the car and the caravan is going to straighten up. Same with the road train as well. Steady the truck and the trailers will steady up as well. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful. If you've got any good stories to tell, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. I always like to read those. And um, don't forget to like and subscribe and um, I'll see you in the next one.